So as the football world continues to be on a football lockdown, I thought I'd take a little look at what the state of football would look like in 10 years time. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at one team in particular, and that team is Brighton Hove Albion. Okay, folks, back once again with another video. This time we're going to take a look at Brighton and Hove Albion. Where are they going to be in 10 years' time? That's the impending question that I'm going to leave to you in just a second. But before then, be sure to give this video some love and smash the thumbs up. And, of course, smash the subscribe uh, for all things uh, Blackburn Rovers related, Premier League related, Football Manager related. We've got it all here. Under one roof. All right, let's go punch in Brighton then. Uh, this is before the old time warp. Uh, we're going to take a little look, just refresh our memories, just in case you don't know too much about Brighton. So here they are, of course, managed by the uh, Swedish export. Not really Swedish, it's English. Uh, Graham Potter, that's right, formerly of uh, Swansea. Uh, now uh, the governor pulling the strings um, at... Um, at uh, Brighton. He's doing what I'm doing in my own football manager save. Just putting it out there. Just putting this out there. I'm doing the Graham Potter Avenue. The Graham Potter safe. Yeah, it's a journeyman. Uh, when I started my life out in Sweden, Finland, Sweden, uh, uh, now over in the Dutchlands of FC20, or maybe not, depending on when this goes out, I might have moved on. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so Graham Potter is the man. The captain is Lewis Dunk. Uh, the vice captain is none. There's no vice captain. The key player is Davy Proper, 27 year old Dutchie. Uh, midfielder pulling the strings and the young prospect is Jason Malumby and I've seen him knocking about actually at Millwall that's right um, hot prospect 19 years of age um, been at Brighton since the get-go so Brighton's history similar to that of AFC Bournemouth so back in the day they were on the cusp of relegation to the, the conference the National League um, but some steady seasons saw them eventually get promoted uh, in 2000-2001 in in season to League 1 they actually had back-to-back -back promotions uh, but then it was followed by quickly by relegation from the championship back down to League One. So it was a bit of a hopscotch era here. A, a joyful era, I would say. You know, promotion, promotion, bit of a relegation, promotion, bit of a relegation, pro... No, surviving, just... Looks like 24, 23, 23. Yeah, just survival. Then they got relegated. Then they went down a little bit to it looked like a bit of a free fall here. And then a bit of a steady eddy. Eventually on the rise once again. And here they are in the Premier League. Uh, ever since they made it uh, as, as, as runners-up back in 2016, 2017, they've been here. They've been there forever. But will they be there in 10 years' time? That's the question we're going to get to shortly. Quick look at the players that we're going to be looking out for in the future. Aaron Moy, like him a lot. One of my favourites. Um, it just strangely. Lewis Dunk, 27 years of age. A lot of these boys, we're not going to see them because they're around around, around around the age that that they may not be in the game anymore. We may be able to track their histories a little bit. Alex McAllister, he is a hot prospect, 20-year-old uh, from Argentina, um, picked up from Brighton. Uh, he went back out on loan, though, uh, for them. So he could be one to look out for, Alexis McAllister. Neil Mope as well. I think we've seen um, him a little bit, if you've been keeping up with the series. Uh, he has made an appearance elsewhere. Has as Adam Webster, Solly March as well. We don't know about him. Uh, Jajan Bash as well. He's, what, 25? So he'll still be in the game. Dan Byrne as well. Has he got an England cap? No. No, he hasn't. Shane Doffey, he may or may not be in the game as well. So Glenn Murray will probably not be in the game. Just saying. Jason Steele, how dare you? Uh, anyway, this is the boys right here. Take a mental picture because we're going to go into the future now. Whee! Let's go. Okay, boys, here we go. Into the future. 31st of May, 2029. That's right. Where are Brighton? That's the question I want to know. What about you guys? You want to know? Well, let's punch it in. Uh, my money's on championship, unfortunately. And they are, but it's a blessing in disguise. It looks like they're going to be right back into the thick things uh, as they finished runners-up this time around. So let's say uh, we finished here. They ended up being 20th, relegated, got themselves promoted at the first attempt. Back in the Premier League, steady Eddie for a little bit, get themselves releg relegated and have a little bit of a wobbly season this time around. Uh, maybe make it playoffs though and get themselves done and dusted this time time so the man pulling the strings these days is Diego Martinez uh, what's his backstory then milestones formerly manager of Granada now manager of Brighton Hove Albion uh, the key man uh, is well the captain is Joe Rodon formerly of Swansea I believe back in the day picked up by Crystal Palace then Aston Villa and then Brighton gobbled him up for 12.5 million pounds when they were in the Premier League been a steady sort of hands at the back Jason Malumbi look at this staying right where it's at 
Yep, testimonial on its way, I'm pretty sure. Maybe even a second testimonial in the works. Um, not too shabby. Key players, this guy is a regen. 18.25 million pounds Spanish youngster. Let's take a closer look at the boys. Here they are. I've got this new column down here to show me if they're regens or not. Fancusto Palestri is the main man. 27-year-old uh, Uruguayan international as well. Attacking midfield on the right-hand side or the left. Uh, he's a pretty savvy little player. He's been with the boys uh, in the championship for the past couple of seasons. Good, strong seasons as well. Uh, not really assist making, but just good performances for him. Alex McCas Alexis McAllister, still there. Did not even f batter an eyelid. He must enjoy life at the South Coast. Uh, so he's still there. Uh, did he ever break into the international scene? No, he did not. Uh, Malumbi as well. Any other? Tra Trevor Shambhala. He's a bit of a journeyman on this. It's been there, there or thereabouts. Tonta Madarabayo as well uh, on the move. Uh, formerly, of, of course, he went at Rovers for a decent loan spell. Uh, Man City. He actually played a couple of games for Man City before making the move um, to some other teams in and around the Premier League. So, any other familiar faces in here? Mm -mm -mm. Not too sh not too sure. What about the managerial merry-go-round merry then? So, start with Graham Potter, who was then fired after just shy of a year. Stevie G came in for seven years. Seven years, picking up one cup. Whoa, that is something to explore. Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Does it have his uh, stats? It does. Look at this. Bruno is a legend. Legend of, uh, legend of the game. Didn't get the job on a full-time basis, but um, not too shabby. Andre Villas-Boas, blast from the past there. 51-year-old fella. What is his get-up? Olympic Marseille. So let's take a closer look at that uh, cup win then by Stevie G. What happened to Stevie G? So he was sacked. Where is he these days? Just curious. Uh, Liverpool under-23s. Did he ever get manager uh, of Liverpool? Just curious. No. He's hanging around, just in case that comes up. But anyway, let's have a little look at uh, the competitions here. So you did win a cup. That cup was the FA Cup. Well done, well done. 2021. So, uh, but European football, I suspect, eh? Uh, Euro Cup uh, lost second knockout stage on Agatha Gate. So let's go through the years and take a look at some of your transfers. Uh, Robbie Brady was brought in on loan from Burnley in your debut season or the first season. Uh, players going out, no money spent, just a 600, uh, uh, no money received, um, 650 pounds spent. That was on the loan fee, looks like, for Cagliari. Um, fella. Now, next up, you did spend 43 million, bringing in the likes of Ryan Brewster for 12.25 million. He is now at the books at Leipzig, so he made a bit of cash on him. Not really setting the place on fire, but uh, a decent little pickup, none the same. Um, uh, Poku. Jack Harrison from Manchester City. He's now Olympiacos, still within the game. And Aaron Cresswell from Man City. The money coming in, though, was generated from a Neil Malpe sale to Norwich. We've seen that one. Leonardo Trossard as well for £25 million. Uh, Knockhart went to Burnley for £20 million. Uh, that Jason Steele fella, he's still in the game as a coaching assistant. But that's about it. Next up, uh, who else did you... Next season... So the next season, <clears throat> Tyron Mings was brought in for £14.75 million from Aston Villa. Um, that's your major signing. A couple of other little boys there. Other players going out. You've generated £30 million, uh, through Solly March. He's gone off to Celtic. Yeah, he's now at Ross County. £2.3,000. Uh, a bit of a ledge. Must be a bit of a ledge over in uh, Ross County these days. Jajan Bash went to Braga. Now on the books at Taijan out in China. Uh, Billy Ace. Arse. Arse, do we call it Arse or Ace? I don't know. Dale Stevens, Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, no, Martin Braithwaite. It's the Danish fella. The Danish fella. Um, kicking on further to the next season, 2022-23 season, Franco Armani. Uh, Emerson went to Barcelona, was brought in. Uh, he's now over in uh, his hometown, home country of Brazil. He later sold him uh, for a bit of, a bit of chunk of change, £4 million. Pounds. Um, players sold £21 million. Pounds. So you made you sold £60 million. So you bought in £60 million. Ko Koanaki, Polish fella, now at uh, Rovers. He had a, a strong season with your 13 goals in the Premier League. That's hard to do, you know. Uh, not too shabby, though. Uh, players going out. Um, 
Martin Montoya went to Dynamo Zagreb. Jack Harrison. So you did make... It looks like you made a bit of money on this guy. So you doubled your money. Um, he's staying out in Greece. He's loving it. He's loving it out there. It's party lifestyle for Jack Harrison out in Greece. Uh, Union SG picking up a lot of players from you on loan. Maybe a bit of a contact going on there. Or maybe even um, you become an affiliate. Something like that. Next season, um, you generated £37 million. Shane Duffy went to QPR. Can't even click on him. Uh, he's, that, he's that good. Um, next up, Aaron Moy went to Basel. Still in the game as a scout. Um, went over to the USA for Nashville and the MLS. We like a bit of that. Tyron Mings went to QPR, 2.3 million. Emerson went to Thingy Bob. We already talked about that. Um, yeah, moving on to the players coming in. Ryan Sessignon was brought in. He's now at Middlesbrough, 29 years of age. No caps for England. Uh, not really set the place on fire as well. Sort of a bit part player, to be honest with you. That's about it. Um, yeah. 2024 25 season, 252 billion pounds spent. The majority of money spent on Morgan Gibbs White from Wolves. Emmanuel Mamana was brought in from uh, from uh, Pampalona out in Spain. It's probably a nickname for something else. Bakuna, uh, 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 Boca Juniors then took him off your hands for a little bit of a hit. Uh, he's now back over at River, uh, having started there earlier in his career. Player's gone out. 18.5 million pounds. Most of it's uh, gone on this guy, Nicholas Apoku, who you guys brought in from Nicosia back in the day for it looks like uh, 5.25 million pounds. Next season, uh, 82 million pounds spent. Uh, the majority of it, you got Ryan Ayambi. Kudos to you, big fellas. Tonto Marabayo, 21 million pounds spent. You brought in this guy, Roland uh, Adrajazo or whatever, a Uruguayan international. Um, he's then been resold to Galatasaray for a little bit of a hit. Um, he was formerly of Leeds, is that right? Yes, it was formerly of Leeds. Um, Rodak, the goalkeeper as well, was brought in. He's now going over to Qatar. Player sold. You sold uh, 72 million, 75 million pounds worth of talent. Ryan Brewster to Leipzig. Uh, Sessignon to Fulham. Back, gone back home for him. Anthony Robinson. He did not get his move to AC Milan. Uh, Brighton picked him up 8.5 million. You sold him to West Brom for 2.8. Still in the game. Still got a few years of football left as well. Matty Ryan, a goalkeeper still in the game. 37 years of age. Goalkeepers can hang on a little bit longer. Um, but besides that, yeah, not much to get excited about. 26, 27 season, Craig Johnson was brought in. He's a regen, right? No, yes, he is a regen. Uh, H on the move, 12 million to, to Copenhagen, brought in. Uh, Berg, Bergerson, yeah, not too sure. Memphis Depay brought in as well, still in the game. How did he fare at a Brighton? Just the one season, seven goals in the Premier League. Not too shabby for a, for a freebie. Uh, players coming out. Um... Gibbs White went to Bournemouth. Went to Bordeaux, this fella. Mark Sharples, not really. Yeah, yeah, meh. 2027, 28 season. Jake Eastwood comes in from Cardiff. Billy Bargain. A couple of guys from Atletico B. John Barnes, the ledge. John Barnes is brought, brought in. As well, players going out. £243 million pounds going out. Gregory Valtalina went to uh, out in China. He's a regen. Uh, made a chunk of change for him. Um, H went to Watford. Kowanaki went to Rovers. They spent big money on him. Love Romagia. Uh, he's actually a real deal player as well. Went to Norwich. Um, you, you, you doubled your money on that at least. Uh, whoa. That's, this fella went to, to Hertha Berlin to Pi. You sold Memphis to Pi. Goodness, you've gone for free. You sold it for 5.5 million. That's a good bit of business right there. Uh, any other ones? Yeah, there's a load of transfer activity here. Sam, Sebastian went to... Uh, Bergstrom went to Burnley. Bernardo. John McGinn. Yeah, John McGinn for a little bit as well. Goodness gracious me. I think uh, there's one more. There is one more. Um, it's £59 million pounds, uh, spent. It's £93 million pounds recouped. A lot of that money being an Eddie Spice Cotton. That's got to be a regen. That's a regen name and a half. It's got to be a potential England international as well. 20 years of age. The money spent, though, was uh, went on Toby Hayes from Watford. Another regen. One regen for another. Uh, and also uh, Paulo Jorge, Brazilian uh, defender as well. So, yeah. Josh, John Barnes went to, to Leighton Orient. Just, just check, in case you're checking on Johnny Barnes. Let's take a look at the best 11. This is the best 11 from the get-go. Uh, Ryan between six, Benedicto, left-back, Roden, Adrabayo and Bernardo at right-back. McAllister, Malumbi, alongside Komenaki, Gross, Pelestri and Connolly leading the line. Connolly, is he still in the books? No, he's not. He's at Schalke these days. Sold for a good... 
7.75 million pounds to Bournemouth, who then sold him on to Schalke. Um, so that's the best 11. What about the boys from the get go? Let's go all the way back. Uh, so it started all very well for Neil Malpe, 14 goals in his debut campaign, full campaign as well. Second season, uh, it was a bit of a change of scenery. Uh, up top was Florian Andoni with 15 goals, 10 goals for Harrison and McAllister. And this could have been a championship season. It was 16 goals for Pascal Gross. What was his deal? Uh, Sol to Köln at the down. okay season and, and one really good season to be honest with you Solly March as well 7.05 Shane Duffy as well chipping in with a decent performance as well Martin Montoya as well next season Conley starts to take over the reins 13 goals this is back in the Premier League as well not too shabby Pascal Gross got 12 as well for him this season uh, Ryan Brewster makes a squad as well for the first time Percy Tao Alexander Mer Alex McLaster on the bench Malumbi and Moy as well into the next season 2022-23 season Armani between the sticks Malumbi still retains the squad Pascal Gross as well still in the side uh, Avi Moy uh, Aaron Moy and Davy Proffer on the bench alongside Brewster and Co uh, into the 2023-24 season Bernardo still at left back uh, Lovro Maggio sticks over in midfield Kawanaki uh, up top these days Matthew Ryan on the bench as a substitute goalkeeper he gets to the number one jersey back in the, se the next season 2024-25 season Lewis Dunk still in the squad as well uh, Malumbi Gross Kanaki Arp and Gibbs White just on the outskirts of the 11 uh, into the 2025-26 season Nar Singh takes over as goal scoring nine goals for him in the Premier League Palestri on the right hand side Macassar on the left Komanaki down the middle uh, Kamara between the sticks uh, next up in the 2026-27 season uh, Begerson, he is a goalkeeper uh, between six. Bernardo at left back, Roden starts coming. Narsing playing in the defensive midfield slot. That's a bit weird. Um, he can play there though. Goodness gracious me, it's a bit of a weird uh, flip flop around. Memphis Depay does make the squad uh, in his one and only season. Uh, in the 2027 28 season, Eastwood, Jake Eastwood. Not the Jake Eastwood. It is the Jake Eastwood, former Rover, right? No, no, we are in the other Eastwood. Um, Toby Ball on the bench. Who's Toby Ball? Must be a goalkeeper. He's not even in the game. Goodness me. Um, Malumbi, Neto, McAllister, Spice Cotton in the middle as well. Uh, kicking off for the, the final season. Ed Oates between the sticks. Dupin at the back. Isale at the back as well. Enzo Suarez, Arasso, amongst others. Uh, Tonson had a on the bench. Quick look at the records now. This is the best, the best of the rest. You could pause the screen and admire it for yourself. Uh, the most funny spent uh, throughout this, this course of time is £28 million you spent on Julian Adesso, who is still at Brighton. It's a recent purchase. 21 goals this season. I'm sure you could get a bit of money for that as well. Uh, the biggest money received was Oscar Valfera, who actually went out to... It wasn't Forest. It was it was Forest. £44 million. Goodness gracious me. Uh, what are they thinking? Where are they these days? £44 million in the championship. Uh, let's take a look at the best players then. The most goals scored was Julian Adesso, 21 goals. It was in the championship. Besides that, you're looking at Pascal Gross's 16 goals. I think that could also have been in the championship. But anyway, moving on. The best assists in the season was uh, Alex McAllister. Again, been there since the get-go. Credit to him. Pascal Gross also chipping in with 16 assists as well. The best, best player or best average... For a player, Pascal Gross, 7.33 average. Of course, he deserves to be in the starting eleven, But that is a pretty much it. So, Brighton and Hove Albion are a championship start side. But they're on the move, boys. They're on the move back to the Premier League. They're a bit of a hopscotch sort of side. But they're not there at the moment. Uh, but will they be there in another 10 years' time? Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to tell you that because I've got too many of these to do. I'm going to plough through these over the next few days. Until then, boys and girls, tomorrow we'll come back again and take a look at the Saints. Another South Coast side. Will South have to be in the Premier League or will they be in the championship? I'm my my money is on the championship. Shock horror. We'll have a look tomorrow. Until then, smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.